Well, let's talk trailer inspections, pre-trips, post-trips, that type of thing. Got some beautiful trailers here, some tankers. We're gonna do a pre-trip on them. Just talk about what we expect. Every company's different, so I just want you to have a good baseline as to what you need to check when you work here at Double D. This is what we expect you to do right here in year 2021. I've got two trailers here. We're just gonna check the one. Obviously what you do to one trailer, you do to the second one, but for time's sake, we'll just show you on the lead here how we're gonna check it out. Let's go jump in the truck and hook up to these things. I'm in the truck and I just backed up and hooked the kingpin onto the fifth wheel. First thing I wanna do is I wanna make sure that that hooked up. I'm gonna flip it back into drive. I've got my brakes released. Just gonna give it a little tug. Nothing crazy. I'm not trying to pull really hard. Just trying to make sure it's hooked up. I don't want to spin my tires or anything. Feels good. Shifter back into neutral. Set my brakes. Let's go hook up our airlines, lift our landing gear. Well, we hooked up and we tugged on it. To start out, let's make sure that we are hooked up because sometimes I can be deceiving. Check to make sure that your handle is all the way in. That's a good sign. And then shine a flashlight up on your kingpin. Make sure the jaws are around it, which they are. So now we're gonna start our inspection of the trailer. We're gonna look for four things. First, lights. Second, tires. Third, hub oil levels. And fourth, inner wheel seals. We're actually gonna see more than that along the way, but I promise if you look at those four things, you'll see everything that you need to. Let's turn our lights on. Lights are on. Let's take a look at our lights. Now while my lights are on, I've also got my trailer aired up. That way, as I'm walking around looking at lights, I have the opportunity to listen for air leaks. Just saves time. Knock out as many of these things at once as you can. More airplanes flying over. Those look good. You might not see those, but those are on. Also, while I'm walking around, I carry around my mini sledge. I'm gonna thump my tires. While I'm thumping them, I can look at the tire tread, right? Make sure that I don't have bald tires. I use a three pound mini sledge. Some people kick, some people punch. I don't recommend that. You need a hard object so that you can really gauge where your tires are at. Okay, let's keep going. Lights over here look good. Some of these tires. Marker lights on there. And I can see that my front marker lights on there. Hazards are on. Now I haven't checked all the lights yet though because what about my brake lights? That can be a little challenging because you gotta have your brakes on. So the trick for that, I'm gonna turn off these lights and in this Kenworth, there's my, there's my brake right there. I'm gonna use my hammer, push down on it. Now my brake lights will come on. Some trucks like a Freightliner has a thing you pull down on. You can do the same thing or use a bungee to hook around it and pull down on it. So we're gonna check our brake lights, but the other good thing is now we've aired up our brake system. So as we're checking our brake lights, I'm listening to see if there's any leaks on the brake side. Lights are great. I don't hear any air leaks on the brake side. So now we're done checking lights and we're also done checking our air just as we've been walking around. Turn those off. So the third thing I mentioned that we wanna check is our hub oil levels. To do that, come and just look right through the glass. They might be dirty and hard to see through. Clean them off with a rag or gloves or shine a light through. Now I can see perfectly. We can see the full, the add, and we're right in between, which is where we wanna be. While I'm here, I have the opportunity to check my lug nuts, right? I have them right down there, so I may as well. So we're gonna check our hub oil levels. Can't stress how important it is to check your hub oil levels. If they're empty, your hub gets hot and it can honestly light on fire. So make sure you're always doing this. It's so easy to do. If they're too dirty to see through, you can pop the cap, ask the shop to replace them. Just make it so you can get it done. Fourth thing I said we want to check was our inner wheel seals. To do that, you got to get under the axles a little bit. Not all the way, but let me show you. I'm gonna kneel down here, shine my light up on my inner wheel seal. It's dry. And look, while I'm here, I can see my brakes. 
While I'm here, I also have a great view of my suspension. Airlines. Are any airlines chafing? Are leaf springs broken? Can I see any cords showing through on my airbags? Any of that stuff. You're gonna see a whole bunch of stuff just by getting down on your knees for a moment. Let's check this wheel seal. Also nice and dry. Top and bottom brakes look excellent. First axle, perfect. Let's check out the second axle. Little harder, because there's a bumper in the way. Get a little flexible here. Wheel still looks great, brakes look great, airbags awesome, no chafing airlines, other side. Beautiful. Brakes are a lot of life left, great condition here. I don't see any problems. So sorry for the interruption. I figured I'd better show you an example of disc brakes while we're looking at brakes. Very straightforward. I mean, look at that. There's your pad right there. Look at the other side. There's your pad. Nothing too fancy. You can see a wheel sill here. You can't exactly so much see it, but you can see if there's signs of leaking by shining your light up there. Everything's dry. It's the same process, just looks a little different. Let's look at some leaf springs really quick too while we're Now on leaf springs, nothing too fancy here. If a leaf spring looks broken, it's probably broken. It's just a piece of metal. Check your rocker box back there. Make sure it doesn't have holes in it. It's the same concept. You're under here having a general look at everything. Just make sure everything looks right. Nothing's messed up, right? Okay, back to the video. So let's recap here. I checked four things. Lights, tires, inner wheel seals and hub oil levels. By checking four things, I really checked everything on this trailer. If you do that, you'll hear air leaks. You'll know if you have any problems underneath. That's what we want you to do. And I did it talking and showing you different steps. If you do all these four things kind of at the same time, you can do this in just five minutes or less. If you're doing it every day, you know your equipment really well, please check every day. We want you to be safe. We want you to be comfortable with your equipment, knowing that it's safe and in good condition. Now, before you go, there is one last step to making sure your trailer is okay to move. I've just released my truck air. I'm gonna put this in reverse. We wanna make sure that there's not a brake that happens to be locked up. Usually that happens from rust. So we put it in reverse because this is the best way to feel if something's not moving. I'm gonna slightly roll backwards. I'm just gonna kinda watch ourselves here. Push it backwards. I'm not seeing anything binding up on us, which is a really good sign. Then I'm gonna kick it into neutral. And I'm gonna let the truck, see how I'm just rolling in neutral. And then I'll probably, I rock back. Oh yeah, you see that? That's all in neutral. So the important thing to happen, or excuse me, the important thing to know about that is in neutral, if I had a brake locked up, it just would have stopped. It just would have come to a stop but because it rolled and it rocked back. That's what I'm looking for most importantly is the rocking back. I know that they're all good to go. If you do think you have one locked up, we'll talk about that another time on how we fix it. But otherwise, this trailer is ready to rock and roll. Let's go get a load.